वेलकम टू सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम लेक्चर सीरीज टिल नाउ आई हैव एक्सप्लेन्ड यू डिफरेंट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सिग्नल्स नाउ फ्रॉम दिस सेशन ऑनवर्ड्स वी विल बी ऑब्जर्विंग क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सिस्टम्स एंड वी विल स्टडी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सिस्टम सो बिफोर वी गो फॉर डिटेल्ड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सिस्टम लेट एस try to understand that with some basic understanding of classification of system so in that first category is linear and non linear system so what is linear and non linear system so if system is following superposition theorem then one can say system is linear system so in detail i'll explain those conditions but here one should understand this if it follows if system follows superposition theorem then system will be linear i'll explain this condition in detail in next few sessions so stay tuned over here see time variant and time invariant system if system's characteristic is not changing with respect to time then system will be time invariant system so if system's characteristic if system's characteristic does not change with respect to time then system will be time invariant so if system's characteristic is not changing with respect to time one can say it will be time invariant system now see if system is linear and time variant then it will be linear time variant system and if system is linear and time invariant then system will be linear time invariant system so here if system is following linearity as well as time variant then it will be ltv linear time variant system if system is linear as well as it is invariant in that case one can say it is linear time invariant system now see fourth classification that is static and dynamic system so static means what static means it is memoryless system and if system requires some memory to store data then it will be dynamic system so static system is memoryless system static system is memory less system we will see some examples as well as detailed understanding in next few session stay tuned with this channel now see what is causal and non causal system causal system means it is a system which is depending on present and past input and if system depends on future input then it will be non causal system so if system depends on present and past input then one can say it will be causal system if system depends on future input then system will be non causal system now see invertible and non invertible system if system response can be inverted means one can say if system can be inverted to its given response then you will be finding at output side one can have component of inputs so that will be invertible system in detail we will see like if you give any input x of t and at output side again if you can achieve input x of t in that case one can say that system is invertible system 
means output should have some components of input so that one can invert that response of system so that will be invertible system if you don't have any component of input at output side in that case that will be non invertible system in detail we will see that if system produces bounded output with bounded input in that case system will be stable system and if system's response is not bounded for bounded input in that case it will be unstable system so these are the classification of systems in detail i'll explain all those different classification with examples so in next session i'll explain you linear and non linear system thank you so much for watching this video please give your valuable suggestions thank you